This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for... for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins. And the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk... Citizens of Rapture. This is Subject Delta. Behind that mask hides an enemy of the people. Without soul or sympathy. It is a beast apart. And as family, we must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lamb will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. Thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this, but there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta, and good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Sophia Lamb has taken the rapture, and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure, and though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lamb. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. Whoa there! Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. 
It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor, loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my... My price? Well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. I'll make you light as feathers again. Again, Mr. B. Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. amusements. Please, enjoy the park. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. 
his sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. A state-of-the-art submersible platform, nicknamed the Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. After initial supplies have been brought to the sea floor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected coverage. I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into, volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusement. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! After the platform is secured, work progresses at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of rapture, workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. This isn't so bad at all. Well ah! <laughs> <laughs> with the other children, because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. Dog. I wanted to see these dog-eaters, so I waited until Mom was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog-eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Now that big daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. I found one of those children at last. Filthy dress, all alone. I approached her, praying that it was my little girl. But she was gorging herself on blood from a corpse. It wasn't her. I stared, just, just reeling. And then that skinny, armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped, but could Cindy have become one of those things? I've got to find her now more than ever. Oh, my God. 
son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be ready before you set her down on that body. That is a child of the family, not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the hunt. <laughs> Son, but a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. Why, hello there. My name is Andrew Ryan. I built the city of Rapture for children just like you because the world above had become out of fit for us. But here, beneath the ocean, it is natural to wonder if the danger has passed, if those we left behind will ever come to their senses. So, let us imagine what might us on the surface. found one of those children at last. Filthy dress, all alone. I approached her, praying that it was my little girl. But she was gorging herself on blood from a corpse. It wasn't her. I stared, just, just reeling. And then that skinny, armored freak that took Cindy jumped me, shrieking like an animal. I escaped, but... Could Cindy have become one of those things? I've got to find her now more than ever. This is strictly something. <laughs> 
<laughs> if any place needed a talented decorator, this would be it. Case back, huh? I think all of the children have finally fallen asleep. And now that the park is all quiet, I can't sleep myself. I guess it's just you and me, Mr. Voice Recorder. Maybe. You, me, and 1959. I wonder what the new year will... What? What was that? Something's happened. The lights are going out. Kids, stay in your sleeping bags. It's gonna be fine. Surface, the farmer tills the soil, trading the strength of his arm for a home and lands of his own. But the parasites say no. What was yours is ours. We are a state. We are gone. We demand our share. A couple of nights ago. Fuck a junk! I've been rationing my supplies ever since the park got cut off from the rest of Rapture. Gotta stay strong. I'm holed up in this workshop, surrounded by those wailing brats, trying to beat their way in. They want my food, my guns. They want it all. But I got a plan. I'm gonna fix up the transport sub that's been rusted in the maintenance bay. Then I'm gonna get the hell out of this hole. These animals want rapture? They can have it. they've been had. I will not have my city swindled by the parasite. Whatever its guys. It is time, I think, to call Sinclair. of the ego, Eleanor. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But the truth, rather, is in the body. 
Already they grow weary of struggling against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent backs, the drawn faces. Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task to answer. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. <laughs> We've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there.
lacking its own ingenuity. The parasite fears the visionary. But it cannot plagiarize, it seeks to censor. But it cannot regulate, it seeks to ban. Rapture was founded on an idea, and here they are held inviolate. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. This lamb woman came constantly. Oh, I'd love to see you. I heard the altar say, Fain, true, and righteous are your judgments, O Lord. Our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate.
I uh, met with Sinclair today of Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo-legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want to admit he has and make them go away. I can fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella <laughs> if he wasn't paying me not to. And he's got work for me, right? I ask what, and he flashes me these thousand-dollar Steinman teeth saying this job will, quote, change history. Third session today with this amazing limey shrink, Dr. Sophia Lamb. She said that all Ryan's horse shit about always looking out for number one is turning us little guys against each other. And what we need is unity, solidarity. Then, huh, she held up a mirror. Turns out, I wear my hair and mustache just like Ryan. So today, I'm spreading the word about Lamb. And tonight, <laughs> I'm shaving my whole stupid head. Unable to provide for itself. The need of the parasite grows until war is made to justify it. Your parents brought you to Rapture where you need never fear the parasites again. So you see, there is no place for you. I know this facility is vital to the preservation of secrecy and rapture, but seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond on, to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking him what if anything he had learned. He said his chores didn't seem so bad as long as mother wouldn't send him to the surface. Turn off the lights. You will regret coming here. Mark! Stupid motor! Buffoon! I hear... Busted pile of junk! You broke it, didn't you, Edna? Everything you touch turns to shit! Mean. You're mean, Roger. It was probably your clumsy, fat hands that loused it up. Typical broad. Stay away from things you don't know nothing about. So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. We lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. 
We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the Little Sisters. Something physical, possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them Big Daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills. Congratulations on your recent purchase of... Incinerate Plasmid. Say, Tom here is having a romantic evening with a gal. What would impress her more than lighting the fireplace with a snap of your fingers? Oh, a party. Face, baby. But this party just uh. hit the skids. Carl needs a light for his cigar, and no one can help him. Son, not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice, and we can say goodbye to this two bit carny ride. Your kind ain't welcome here. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, speaking shelter. Ridiculous. <laughs> the individual as a hero, a noble survivor, and Rapture was his paradise. Genocide. Genocide. Chaos. Chaos. 
Now that the tyrant is dead, we are a true collective, a single family. Outstanding, Sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel? to force a mirror on a man with no face. Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. You're the kill, Messiah. Oh. 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 Oh.